Hey everyone, this is DBG here again, and I know what you're thinking. I understand. I know. I get it. What do you expect? I've been working on other things in my life, uh, and still currently working on my things in my life. I was working on my book, moving, and trying to find my own place and get everything organized, but guess what? My book is published, I got a place, and I know exactly how to work it here. Even though I can't use my green screen, I can still do other things, and as you can tell, my light isn't 100% perfect because I apparently lost my lights in the move. I can't hear you! It's too dark in here! But what are we going to be working on today? Well, we're going to be working on something I saw on the Food Network about a year ago, and my god, that stuff is delicious! It only involves technically, technically, three main ingredients. One, some good old cheese. Pepperoni, sausage, your choice, and sauce. What am I talking about? Because in your description down below, it says you're making a cheese pizza. No dough? Uh, yeah, because this thing basically, almost basically, has less than 10 carbs. What am I gonna do? Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you here, right now, on DB Cheese. Cut! DBG cooking. We're actually gonna start with a simple pan. We're gonna heat it up with a very low temperature. One out of 10 or wherever you have, basically it's gonna be three below, very, very soft. We're gonna lay heat up naturally and we're gonna add just a tad bit of coconut oil. You don't really need a lot. You just need just enough. I know more than that. Now just let us do its thing. Give it a minute while we work on other projects. And what other projects am I talking about? Besides my book right here, that's already done, down in the description below, Amazon, $4. We're going to be actually make, cutting out some sausage. Sleep better when I'm a little sausage in me. <laughs> sausage! Now many people have different mixed feelings on what kind of sausage can you do. Well, my only mixed feeling is, this is all I got. I got pepper sausage. Because uh, I keep eating everything else. Look at this. Even though I'm not 100%. Oh my god. I'm basically went out in the 1400s. Otherwise, this is a severe case of general warts. What the hell would you say that for? How am I actually going to cut this? I am a big fan of dicing my pepperoni. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Boo at me all you want. But ever since I was a kid and I went to a place called Peter Pipe Pizza, that's actually a franchise here in San Diego, I don't know anywhere else to be honest, that dices their pepperoni. Personally, I think that's a great idea because when you're eating, I don't want the whole damn pepperoni going in my mouth and taking with 10 pounds of cheese with it and basically now you just got a bread and tomato sauce on there. So at least by doing it this way, you even it up the odds a little bit more and plus, it cooks it, I believe, a little bit better. Look, I understand, I know. I'm not as energetic as I used to be currently. Well, guess what? I actually had a nice, detailed plan I was gonna do today, but my computer screwed up and I lost all of it. Yes, save your progress. No matter how little it is, save it. Yeah, I had a whole idea. Looks like I'll get used it for next week. Cause I'm gonna be doing something similar next week to this idea, but that's gonna be for a different day. Now I can already hear people screaming at me like, why are you doing to mix metal with metal? Very, very slowly, just getting the oil down. Jesus Christ, you act like the stepmother no one freaking wants. And yes, I hear it. It's freaking screaming. Literally, just get some shredded cheese. I, I know this cheese doesn't look really shredded. Break it up and put it literally, literally, I'm not joking here. Again, literally, just put it on oh, here yeah. and let it melt. Stuff. That's all you have to do. I like to get one of these, put it right on top, let it melt by yourself. Now you pro. No, 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 I understand, I understand. But DVG, that's so boring. I want some seasoning because I can't think of anything besides what you're putting on the table. Jesus Christ, people, do I have to think everything around here? Yes, I know you're on my video watching me, but seriously, have a mind of your own. It's the problem with society, that you want everything right there, even though you can think for yourself, sometimes outside of the box, 
But no, you want me to do everything so you can just copy and take it for yourself, steal your idea, and go on to your merry god of uh, we apologize for the uh, random little outburst he had right there. Um, we will return to our regular program once he uh, gets some water in here. God damn it, Pico was my freaking Diet Coke! Da da, Diet Coke. One second, please! Move on. For the seasonings I chose for this, it's actually quite simple and straight to the point. Mm, members Market, of course, the most quality, the most majestic, and the cheapest, really. Cilantro, basil, parsley, and chives. Now, again, do not put this on high. That is a very, very bad idea. Just bad idea mostly because I get oh you're just gonna dab the seasonings on there you're going to burn the cheese we want to get the bottom of the cheese nice and crispy brown so if you cook it just a little too fast you're going to burn the every living crap out of it and we don't want burnt grilled cheese no one likes burnt shit there we go just a little bit of that. and we just put this back on top let it melt there we go. Yeah, now you need to do something still. Look, I don't feel like doing that. Everyone else is already doing it. Come on. No. Come on. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. And shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shake. Perfectly melted on top and you can see the little bubbles working. So it's working in our favor just the way we want. I'm just going to push this up a little bit. No, it really doesn't matter what cheese you get. Just get shredded cheese. As you saw, it was all kind of like lumped together. Sorry, but right now, you gotta go with what you got. And now we're gonna put a little bit of this delicious sauce. Again, it doesn't matter what kind of sauce you have. Personally, I just found whatever is inside my house. So you just wanna put a dab here and there on there. And I don't know if this is actually keto friendly or anything, but I believe it is. So why do we let the cheese fully melt? Well, guess what's gotta stay on top? The pizza sauce. And there we go. So now you can take the lid off and let it cook. And now we gotta put down the piece of the resistance. Look at that. Now doesn't this look absolutely appetizing? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that looks pretty close to done. That looks pretty close to that. All right, here we go. Boom, oh, baby. Look at that. Mm. Doesn't that look absolutely mouth-watering? Oh, just look at this. Yep. It's gonna be crispy on the bottom. Just so you know, it should be crispy on the bottom. There we go. Oh my. God, look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah. Mm. That was amazing. Holy crap. Yeah, highly recommend this. It does take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook this overall, but Definitely recommend doing this. Three simple ingredients. You get your pizza. You become a low cop Italian. I know if that's how you want to say it. You can definitely add some stuff later. But this is DBG. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Trust me. Actually, don't trust me. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get another one next week. A little bit more racing. We're going to go along the line to something like this for the next one. I guarantee it. You all have a good day. And thanks for watching. I'd like to thank everyone just one more time for coming and watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Play some video games, eat some food, and enjoy your neighbors. Have a good day.